I'm too paid. I'm paid because I'm cooking that one way. Up top of the rock, too paid. I'm about, I don't care what you say. I ain't been home about two days. Get the fuck out of here. I'm too straight. I'm tired of the money. Shoelace. Ah, damn. Hey, I'm coming out to it. You're here. Every once in a while, you have an athlete that is born or blessed with certain gifts more so than the others. F Floyd Mayweather has it, Roy Jones had it, Ray Leonard had it, and you can see the same type of thing in Adrian Brown. To all the fans that, that have not seen this young man fight before, uh, you're gonna see something very, very special. The problem. Straight up, you know what it is, man. AJ the problem, 22 and 0, 18 knockouts, Mr. HBO, Mr. HBO, fresh, fly, flashy, it's fight time, man. Let's get it. You, you seem to be very forceful when someone insinuated that you were doing Floyd Mayweather. What do you think the comparisons to Floyd come from? Hey, I mean, it's a compliment for me. Every time I hear Floyd name him, they bring up my name. So I must be doing something good. I love it. You know, uh, just like when he was coming up and just like how Floyd do, you know, we just make these good guys look trash, man. It happens when you put a good fighter in with an elite fighter. Do you feel like you're already an elite fighter? Yes. I think I'm gonna miss a puzzle piece of boxing. with my finger in his face. I'm beating your ass. That's what I was telling him. I'ma beat your ass, and you better be in some shape, because I'ma beat the fuck out of you. Cincinnati, Ohio, the world champion. You'll see tonight. Ooh. Crowd go, ooh. My rhymes hardcore, like the seed of a peach, and I'ma eat like a bum that found crumbs in the street. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. He's the goofiest. Funniest, you, you see how he is right now. It's like that times a hundred in real life. <laughs> but around fight time, he, he really turns into a grown man and knows what he had to do and get, get locked into the fight. He, he turns into a whole nother person. not no joke what he doing. When he gets into his mode, when we start hitting them pads and, and, and warming up, and this kid is like a machine. I, mean, I never seen nothing like it. His personality is gonna turn some people off, other people on. He's really not a bad kid, you talk to him. There he is, coming into his own song that he's performing. Rapping on his way to the ring. 
The mouth flaps like the punch body. Going into the fight, you're going to see a whole number. It's like a light switch. You're going to laugh and joke. When that bell rings, serious stuff going to go down, man. He's got speed, power, offense, defense. He's got heart, and he can take a punch. Who do you know that beat Adrian Brown is standing right in front of him? Who matches up to that? Who matches up to that skill level? Perez is standing right in front of him for three rounds. I look at boxing like it's 10% physical and 90% mental. These guys are playing checkers, and I'm playing chess, man. I'm going to capitalize on every mistake you make, and it only take one. So uh, if you make that mistake, man, um, that ass is grass. Good straight right hand and down goes Perez. And he's not going to make it. That's a spectacular Every fight that I have from now on is, is going to my history. You know, so, so every time I get in that ring, I try to do something special. I told you! I told you! I told you! I'm he has everything that he needs in order to be successful. The kid is the real deal. And I want the world to understand that he is one of the best boxers in the world, and he's going to go down in history. Adrian Broner fighting at home. Seemed to have all the advantages in the fight and now has given himself another advantage by basically declining to make weight. Broner claims, look, there's no one for me to fight at 130. Escobedo moved down from lightweight, so, so he comes down to 130 to fight at junior lightweight, and Adrian is now really a full-blown lightweight. In Escobedo's case, he was caught unaware and taken by surprise by what happened on the scale. There were several hours today when it appeared he was leaving town and wasn't staying for the fight. It was 5 p.m. here, local time, before we got word that Escobedo would actually stay. Clearly, he got a big financial payoff. In recent days, Adrian Broner has flouted the idea of making an honest effort to make weight by tweeting pictures of junk food like Twinkies. He seems to think that he can turn any opponent into a Twinkie. I don't think he's gonna be able to get away with anything less. You're watching a highly skilled, very athletic, really young, power-punching, rising star in Broner. Escobedo is trying to defend that he's not a bad defensive fighter, and he's getting hit clean at arm's distance. Broner is starting to bust up Escobedo's face. Broner saw something at the end of that last round. He went to his corner. He told his corner, I'm about to walk him down now. That usually means trouble for the other guy because usually when you say that to your trainer, you feel like he's starting to weaken and it just takes a little bit more pressure and you can possibly get him out of there. Brutal body shots, the right hand over the top. Escobedo trying to hang on, getting hammered against the ropes. And Joel Diaz is holding up a towel. He's seen it up. Adrian Broner's got to have a TKO victory as Joel Diaz stopped the fight. He's 24-0 now with 20 knockouts among the 24 wins.